were with Hope College. Football coach Peter Sturzma. Peter, I understand this is your sixth season of coaching the Flying Dutchman. Only five years, actually, though, I, I guess, that you actually had a chance to get out there and, and coach some games last year due to the pandemic. Since 2019, uh, you guys haven't played. or getting ready to open up here early September. But that 2019 season was fantastic. You went to the playoffs. And how many people you got back from that team, Peter? Yeah, thanks, Steve, for being here. And so we, we actually have a lot of guys that are back from that team. Uh, lost a core group. That was our first recruiting class of the 19 team that won the championship. And, you know, and I always say we're in the field of 32 to play for a national championship. And that hasn't happened here in a while. We're very proud of that, very proud of our guys. But we also reminded these guys that that does nothing for us now. It doesn't gain a yard, doesn't stop them. But we also I feel very fortunate that we have 12 of our 16 guys that were eligible for a fifth year came back. I think that says a lot about them as young men. I think that says a lot about our institution. I think that says a lot about the culture of our program. They wanted to come back and finish this. And, and the guys that, 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 didn't, that didn't come back, well, they had internships, graduate school, and, and jobs lined up. And, you know, I, I just think that that says a lot about the student athletes that we have here. And so we're very excited about where we are right now because it's, it will have been 651 days from that playoff game until our first game on September 3. But who's counting, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Peter, I mean, you had that great season championship and everything. Now you, you I, I mean, uh, how does that impact the team? You had such great momentum going. Mm -hmm. How does that impact that, that momentum that you guys were building? Yeah, well, and, and we made a decision last spring, as, as our league talked about playing, you know, the conference schedule. We, we made a football decision, not a COVID or pandemic decision. We made a football decision that we were not going to put our guys out here. And the day we were supposed to start practice, it was minus nine degrees and nine inches of snow on this for, on, on this field and this turf. And so, you know, we made a decision to try to get better as a football program. And I felt like that helped us for where we are right now in day two. Day one was as high energy of practice as I've been a part of here at Hope College. And, and day two did not disappoint. And, and this is also when it starts to get hard because the guy's legs start to feel thick. And But the energy of our guys and, you know, the young men that you're going to talk to, it's a credit to our leadership on this team. Uh, th they have a, a really strong desire to be great each day, and each day that is. That doesn't guarantee us anything for tomorrow or the future or what, how many games you're gonna win, but to be really, really good today. Uh, and that's been our focus, and I think we've learned that throughout the pandemic. We gotta worry about today. And you know, uh, again, w when our leaders are going like they are, and when our leaders come back way stronger than they were, and when our leaders come back and they just breeze through the conditioning drill, that gives us a pretty good indica indication of where we are. Again, guarantees nothing, but gives us a good indication of where we are at that point. Hope College will play six of their games right here in Holland. That's got to be exciting for 650 some days. Fans will get plenty of opportunities to see the Flying Dutchman this Yeah, season. that's huge for us. I mean, and it starts with we open Labor Day weekend and that Friday night. I, as a former high school coach, I didn't want to interrupt high school football. I know there are some teams that are playing Friday night, but most are playing Thursday. Friday night here at Ray and Sue Smith Stadium is going to be awesome because we're also, as you notice in the end zone, there's an incredible facility. Uh, you know, Jim Herringa uh, and his life partner Eileen Kilmer brought us the opportunity to put an incredible facility on this campus in the end zone for these players and, and, and for our baseball and softball program to use in the spring. And, you know, it's really going to be a neat piece to open up on that night in front of a great crowd. And, you know, I think there's something unique. Our guys love playing at night because they did it obviously in high school where, uh, you know, high school football I think is still one of the most unique and special events going on any any town, any place in the United States. All righty, Peter. Stars, my best of luck to you this year. Thanks, Steve. Talk to you soon. Thanks.